So that is how you load tires in the trailer. And this person is very tall, obviously, because he's got them almost to the very top there. And you can get a lot of tires in here when you load them like that. Looks really, really good, and that's how you do it. Okay, so here's my gripe for the night. So this is what we call a swing load. So we have a big M trailer here and we have a Taylor transportation trailer here. So this Taylor was full of tires and we, uh, well not we, but they had to transfer the tires from the Taylor to the big M. So I stuck it out here uh, in the middle of the driveway last night actually so that they could uh, transfer the tires over. What's the problem? It's hard to see, but the tires are sticking out past the door. So I can't even close the door. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, they're sticking out past the door there. There's no way I can close the door. <sighs> All right. And there's a better shot. Sticking out past the door. Now all of these tires were in that tailor right there. I put that trailer there. The doors were closed. There was a little bit of room on the back of that trailer. In any event, there was enough room to close the doors on that trailer. But somehow when they put them in this trailer, same size trailer, they're sticking out past the door and somehow I'm supposed to get this thing sealed up. So what am I going to do? I don't have enough ass to uh, push those tires in. Okay, so the only way to uh, fix this problem is I'm going to have to put that trailer at a door and uh, get a forklift driver to come over there and what they do and we have this problem uh, usually with uh, the containers uh, we got JB Hunt and Snyder and also Hub City containers over here and what we do is we just get a forklift driver to uh, to back in he'll turn his forklift around and then get a running start and uh, back into the tires and it just shoved those trailer uh, shoved those tires inside the trailer to give us enough room to get the doors closed so it's not nothing new uh, not nothing we don't deal with I don't have an open door right now to back into so I'm just gonna have to leave that trailer there until I can clear one of these doors and then uh, then I'll back that trailer in that door to get a forklift driver and uh, give him or get him to give me a hand to move those tires so that I can close the door for the trailer. But I gotta wait for an empty door first. So it's, uh, let's see, it's three o'clock already, so I still got about three hours, well, two and a half hours uh, of time left on my shift. So, actually, I don't know, I might walk in here and See if they got one of these doors done. Uh, if they do, I can go ahead and move it before they uh, officially uh, shut down the door. So let me go see what I can find out here. All right, so we um, we ended up just putting that trailer at a door, and then I uh, had a forklift come over, and they just spin it around and then use the back end of the forklift and push those tires in. So we were able to uh, push them in enough to get the door closed. So we're done with that. Um, and actually we're a, a few days later now. Uh, that was right at the end of the day, so I didn't uh, waste time filming anything. I didn't want to film that process because there was a bunch of people around. They probably don't want to be on camera. So I didn't 
I didn't film anything. But anyway, um, it's a few nights later, and uh, we're back at it. Uh, it's a slow night, not much going on. This is a, uh, a Friday night here, so it's kind of slow, but I thought I would share some of my duties um, when I'm not moving trailers to the door. And uh, what I do uh, when I first get here to the shipping side is I go into the office and I grab a uh, empty trailer list, which is this guy right here. So we got whole page, whole page, another whole page, and then a few on the back. And so what I do, just so I get an idea of where all my empty trailers are. Now, we're at the, uh, I guess you could call this the west side of the of the, uh, the shipping uh, pad here. All these are empty. So, I know, I know all these trailers here are empty. So I don't have to worry about none of these trailers until I get down here to this uh, scrap pile right here and this is uh, they replaced a couple of doors uh, roll up doors in the warehouse and uh, they put all the old crap out here and left it so this is kind of our break point so everything that way is empty and everything this way will be loaded except sometimes uh when we don't have uh that many loaded trailers over here on this side as you can see you can see this big gap right there everything from that jb hunt down is loaded then we got this big gap then we got these trailers now because we need room at the uh, drop yard we got to get tra uh, empty trailers from the drop uh, drop lot over to here so that we can make room for the loaded trailers to bring back so all of these on this side of that scrap pile all these four trailers here are empty and I can go by my sheet here to make sure so what I do as soon as I get in and I grab this sheet I immediately come down to that scrap pile because I know everything on the other side of the scrap pile is empty so I start at the scrap pile and I go by each trailer and I see if that trailer is on this list and you can see right there there's a brown 27963 and then there is a C -A S C N N, which is um, that Snyder right there. And then we got a Stevens, and we got a USA, which I've already used, I think. Did I? Yeah. Well, I used to, I used that Stevens there, that 53376. I've already put that in the door. So what I do is I like to clear out these trailers first. And also, there's some trailers on that back road over there. Um, that's another place we put empties at. But when I grab empties, I stick them at the doors. I like to grab these first to get them off of the loaded side, just in case uh, we need the room. But then also, uh, what will happen is if we have a door that's not being used over here, uh, we'll stick an empty in there just to, you know, just to stage it for the time being. And there's only a couple over there. I know that Southern HG is empty, and that brown down there at the end is empty. And I think there's one more trailer down there. So that's what I do. I go, I go to all these trailers from that scrap pile forward, and. And including these, uh, in fact, that brown there on the on the left side is empty. And then I mark them down on that paper, on that empty list. So that way I know what empties are over here on the loaded side of the pad, and I know what empties are sitting at a door that I can use. And 
and that just makes my life a little bit easier. And the same back there, I'll go back there and uh, mark all the trailers down uh, that are empty. Because so, uh, sometimes we put loaded trailers back there, but most of the time it's empty. So I'll mark those empties down on my list. And then, in fact, I just did, uh, I just did uh, about four doors here uh, before I started recording. And so I got two trailers from over here where all these, on the loaded side of the pad here, on the right side of the scrap pile, which is right there. So I got two, two empty trailers on this side and then two empty trailers uh, from the back uh, road back there. So I just like to keep things uh, as organized as possible clearing out empty trailers off the back road, off the loaded side of the pad, uh, and also away from the doors here. And so that's my routine as soon as I get in. And by the time I get done with that, I come down here to this side of the shipping dock. This is the older section down here. Um, now what we do over here, these are called hand load doors. And these here, tonight we are loading doors two and four, which are the tailor and that tailor right there. That's doors two and four. We're loading those tonight. Well, I'm not, uh, they are. And then in the morning we're gonna, or they are going to load doors one, three, and five, which is Stevens. Stevens and another Stevens right there and what these are these are requested uh, by the customer to be inspected as they go on the trailer now the tires that go on the trailers at on the other side of the shipping dock those are just coming down the belt being loaded on on the trailers these here these are hand inspected. Every tire gets inspected before it goes in the trailer. So we call these the hand load doors. And these trailers here also have to be uh, original equipment, meaning 10 years or newer. Can't be anything older than 10 years. Can't have holes anywhere in the trailers. Can't have any kind of damage really. Uh, any significant damage that is, you know, scratches and things here, you know, they're not going to worry about that, but they got to be uh, in good condition. All right, so I guess I'll go ahead and end this video here. Just, uh, well, I don't know how long this video would be. It shouldn't be too long. It's just kind of a, you know, a daily routine that I do here. And that's it. So, um, you know, you, you know, again, I'm struggling to make content here because I just, I come to work uh, and, and every day is the same thing. I just put trailers at a door and that's it. You know, it's no frills. Um, so I'm trying to get a video of me trying to back in one of these trailers over here. You can see how tight they are. So I was hoping to get a video of me trying to park the trailer without hitting anything. You can see how tight they are. I mean, that is like two inches on either side. The problem is, is it's just too dark over here. And I tried it with the GoPro and you just couldn't see anything. So maybe I can uh, fill in for somebody on the day shift. And if I do, I'll uh, get the GoPro out and uh, get a good shot of me trying to struggle <laughs> for you struggling to get a trailer in in one of them tight spots over there uh it is uh pretty pretty intimidating trying to do it or at least it was when i first started here and i wasn't that good at it It took me a while to get a trailer in there you know trying to get it in there without hitting anything now i'm a little bit better at it uh still takes me a minute because I don't want to tear up somebody's equipment. So I, you know, I just try to get it in there as safely as possible without tearing up somebody's equipment. That's the last thing I want to do. And it's not 
the easiest thing to do. We don't have no choice but to do it like this. We have to put these trailers in here as tight as possible because Goodyear will not give us any room. They got plenty of land back there, but they won't do anything with it. So it is what it is. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next week with hopefully a, hopefully a, a better video. You know, hopefully something exciting will happen around here. So we'll see you there.